there's a uh, another form. And it's called the polar form. It's also called the ASABEN, uh, how does your, your book use this fee? FISABEN form. And that is a little bit more intuitive. It says that any repetitive waveform can be made up by a DC term, an average term, plus an infinite sum of pure cosines with different phase angles. And this is a whole lot more intuitive because these things look like phasers, right? Here's your magnitude and here's your phase. And as an example of what I mean, maybe a particular function looks like three plus two cosine of six T plus 45 degrees. And then it might also have another part, which is minus cosine of, let's see, if this is 60, that must be its fundamental frequency. So the next thing would have to be an integer multiple of that fundamental frequency. So it might look like this, plus you know another one, which would be now it's three times this, or 18t plus six degrees, plus different amounts. You know, maybe this would be plus one half. It'd have different amplitudes different frequencies. These amplitudes are your a sub -ends, these frequencies are your phi sub -ends, and then your frequencies are all integer multiples of your fundamental frequency. So this is far more intuitive, but the problem is, is that you can't compute the a sub -ends and the theta sub -end, the phi sub -ends directly. So if you want to use that form, the way to go back and forth is to first compute your a sub -ends and b sub -ends, as in the previous um, slide, and then you're going to create a new thing called C sub n. And C sub n's will be complex. And they'll be equal to A sub n minus J times B sub n. So just making it real for a second, <clears throat> we want to compute some arbitrary F of T. We find it most intuitive to compute it as a DC term plus an infinite sum of cosines of different magnitudes and angles. To do it, you're firstly going to compute them as a summation of a DC term plus various pure cosines with no phase angle and pure sines with no phase angles. You'll find your A sub n's, your B sub n's, and your A sub naught's using formulas two and three. Once you find all these, a single A sub naught and a whole series of A sub n's and B sub n's, how many do you need to find? Probably not all infinity. From the intuitive uh, things I showed you before, if you find the first six or, or, or eight, you're probably going to get pretty darn close to your original waveform. So you might find A sub one through A sub six and B sub one through B sub six. Then you're going to create this complex number. So C sub one is going to be your A sub one minus J B sub one. C sub two will be A sub two minus J B sub two. And when you construct your C sub n like this, it's magnitude, It'll have a magnitude and a phase. Here you're constructing it using rectangular coordinates. And here you're displaying the same complex number using polar coordinates, magnitude and phase. And when you construct it in that way, this a sub n is this a sub n, this theta phi sub n is this phi sub n. And the only thing else that you need to know is how to get that DC term and that DC term your a sub naught up here is the exact same as your little a sub naught that you found earlier, which is the exact same as your DC term, which is the exact same thing as your average term. Oof. So again, just a, a quick example of this. If your a sub two was four and your b sub two you found was equal to three, then your c sub two would be equal to four minus J three. Remember that there's a minus here, it's not a plus. And then you could equally write that in magnitude angle form. 
like this. And so while this means that you've got a corresponding um, harmonic that looks like, wait one second, that looks like four cosine of two omega naught t plus three sine two omega naught t. Why is it the two? Because we said it's the second harmonic over here. That means we could just as well draw that more intuitively as saying that the second harmonic looks like five cosine of two omega naught t minus 53 degrees. That was a lot. Thumbs up on that. We're almost done.